Today, I'm going to be building a new starter house for Bloxburg. So no, I'm not going to be renovating the old one, but instead, I'm going to be building a whole new house, which I think should replace the old one. And the one twist is I can't use any game passes. And I got this idea from Alaska Violet, so credits to her. And with all that said, let's begin. So we are definitely bulldozing this. Goodbye, old house, and hello, new house. So firstly, because we have no game passes, it means we don't have big plot. So I'm going to outline where the small plot would be to make sure we don't go outside of it. And now let's begin. So I'm going to try not to make this too expensive because I want it to actually be a little bit realistic. And there we go. I think that is a good shape for our starter home. And also I'm going to turn advanced placement off because I might accidentally use it otherwise. So something that definitely needs improvement from the old house is having a better roof. As you can see, these roofs are so much nicer than this old one that they just shove on there. And I wonder, can you pull stuff up without advanced placement? I'm pretty sure you can actually. And immediately, how cute and homely does this look? But now let's add in all the windows and doors. So because it is a start house, I'm not going to be going and giving it like this most expensive one. It doesn't even fit. I'm going to buy like a mid-range one. I'm thinking maybe this one. Then for my windows, I want to make them a little bit custom. So I'm going to start with these ones. And then firstly, oh, we can't resize, guys. We can't make anything custom. I've just realized because we don't have advanced placement. So you know what, guys? I'm actually going to get rid of those windows and use these ones instead. I just think they have a lot more detail to them than those other ones. Then we can have a big window here. And guys, by the way, you don't need advanced placement to move things around. And then the front door to the start house is so plain. What is it? I think it's something like that. So I think we should switch up, give it a cute little glass front door, kind of sticking with the same vibe of glass. And the worst thing about the original start house is definitely the colours. So we've got to make sure we pick good colours today. Maybe we can make it a bit realistic with these bricks. So maybe like the garage could be grey and then the rest could be brown. Okay, this is looking so cute. I mean, this front door looks so small and pathetic all on its own. So maybe we'll add a little window next to it. And this can be a tiny little bathroom as you walk in. Now, the last thing to do before we go inside and start building is to do a bit of the outside. Because in the original Sot House, their front garden is literally that. <laughs> like it is. So I'm going to try and make a little bit more of a detailed front garden. So we'll add some pathways to start off with getting in and out of the house. This is the thing with advanced placement, guys. Normally, I'd just be whoosh. But you've got to like move everything. Anyway, here are little fences. And then a very easy way to add detail is to add grass. And now we can add some sprinklers in here so our plants that we're about to add don't die and I'm literally just gonna splatter the most random plants everywhere and apparently whoever has this garden has a very advanced garden there's literally pumpkins growing in here and we'll also add a little hose pipe on the side but I feel like I'm adding too much detail this is a starter house and the very last thing is the wall trims and now we can go inside and we need to decide the layout of this place so I think here should be the bedroom nicely at the front with the three windows and then in here should be the bathroom because the starter house bathroom is tiny guys and then here can be like a little guest toilet just a tiny two by one and then the rest can be relatively open plan much like the original is so we'll add all the foundations down quickly and then for the floor, I feel like I use this floor way too much. But you guys have got to admit, it is a gorgeous floor and it's much better than the one in the start house. But to be fair, I think the one in the start house is literally this, but just a different shade. But anyway, we're going to ignore that because this shade is much nicer. And for now, I'm just going to add these grey walls. And now let's jump into decorating. So I feel like the kitchen would go perfectly along this wall here. We can't make this too expensive. It's got to be realistic. So we're going to use this rustic set of counters. Here is where the pain begins with advanced placement and I've actually changed my mind I prefer these shaker counters we'll have to place these in manually and then it's so annoying with like islands because they don't connect without advanced placement so you have to have like this weird gap but it's fine it's fine and oh my gosh as usual I've forgotten to add space for a fridge so we'll put a fridge thing there now let's put the appliances in so I really really want to get my expensive oven but obviously I can't otherwise this would not be a challenge instead I'm going to be getting the basic stove oh my gosh are you kidding me there's plenty of space. Advanced placement is all about just rearranging things. And can we add a fridge in here? We'll use the basic fridge. Wait, actually, someone commented. I think if you put the fridge in first, then you can actually add this in afterwards. Hello? <gasps> I got it. I got it, guys. Okay, I got the fridge in. Now let's color these cabinets because they look so basic. And so I definitely want to make sure to add some appliances in this house because the normal start house doesn't have any. Do you know what appliance it has? It has this, an empty pizza box. So all you can make is pizza. Bloxburg, you're not helping me to eat healthy. And also we'll add just a tiny little bit of detail. And oh my gosh, I almost forgot our little microwave. We can put our simple little 
microwave down there. That actually looks really cute. And guys, I really wish we could use game passes because this would be such a good place to put like marble tiling, but sadly we can't. And honestly, for no game passes, I actually don't think this looks too bad. So now let's add the stools and let's see what are the cheapest stools, these ones. You know what? These can actually look quite cute. And somebody told me not to add so many stools at my islands, but I think when they're spaced out, it just looks weird. So I'm going to put a few. And I actually don't think that looks too bad. They look a bit spaced out, but it's fine. And yeah, I don't want to over decorate it because again, like I keep saying, it is a starter house. So yeah, I think that's good for the kitchen. Then over here is going to be the living room area. We want a nice TV unit. I'm going to splurge on this one. And then as much as I want to get this big TV, it wouldn't be a cheap house then. So instead, I'm going to get this one, which is actually pretty big still. And also I want to add some bookshelves either side. So I don't think I've ever actually made a bookshelf without advanced placement before. I think it's okay. You just have to make the books like look very far away from each other. And let's see how close to the wall we can put this. Okay. It's a little bit far away, but that's fine. We'll just have two like that. And also I've realized I haven't put windows around the rest of the house. Maybe that's why it's looking so bare. Anyway, I'm sure we can get a carpet without advanced placement. Oh no, actually we can't really because I'd need to resize it and you can't do that. And then what's a cheap sofa that doesn't look ugly? Maybe we could use these because these aren't actually that expensive. And yes, guys, I know these chairs are designed for outside, but you can use them inside. Oh my gosh, this looks so homey already and I haven't even colored it. So let's first get rid of this outdoory texture. And the good thing about this sofa is it already has pillows on it. Because yeah, I don't know if you can add them without advanced placement. Oh, maybe you can actually. You've just got to put it like really far away from the back. Then what coffee table do we want? This is quite nice, isn't it? Yes, please. I want this one. And guys, I've just remembered something random. I haven't added a sink in the kitchen. So we'll put one here. Anyway, a classy household might have these books, but I don't think a starter house would be able to have them. So we'll get instead some magazines. Because if you're new, you're going to want to keep up on like the news of Blocksburg anyway. Then we can get like these little corner tables. Well, actually, I think we only need one. And then, yeah, we are going to get this light. I know this is very basic. I think we have been going a little bit crazy with the price. So we want to rein it in a little bit. Anyway, I am going to get some plant pots. And actually another way to fill up some space is to use a floor lamp. Oh my gosh, no. Why can't I put this here? There's plenty of room. But that's okay. Anyway, we should add some curtains and I'm going to just use these privacy blinds. And I don't know if we have room for a dining room. I think maybe a round table. And under no circumstances will I be using these chairs. So I think the nicest ones that are actually a reasonable price price are these. And on here, we'll just put some sauces. And something I noticed about the start house is it has a lot of shelves on the wall. So I want to continue the pattern of doing that. And over here, I'm going to put a bookshelf because I love reusing them once you've made them. And then maybe over here actually could be a good place for a floor lamp. Now I want to do the bathroom. So we have technically two in this house. We have a big main bathroom here. And then this is going to be a little guest toilet. You know what? We might as well do this one first. I'm going to go for a Starbucks theme in here. And what I mean by that is green brick. Because I don't know why, these just remind me of Starbucks. Anyway, I think the only way to do this is going to be to have the toilet there. And maybe the sink here. And I just added some simple shelves. And then we can add a mirror. And I think this one looks perfect for a starter house. And then we'll put a light in there. That's our little toilet done. And actually, I forgot to put lights on the island. And I like to use pendants. So the cheapest ones are basically these. Oh my gosh. This video should be called True Reese's Trying to Build Cheap and Failing for 10 Minutes Straight. Anyway, next I'm going to do the entryway because this won't take long at all. And I think that looks plain enough. I'm trying not to make it look too over complicated for a start house. And then maybe I'll add a long carpet here in the middle just to add a little bit of flair to this floor area. And yeah, I'm gonna leave this room now before I do too many details. And now we have this bathroom. So it's the second bathroom, like I said. Should we continue the Starbucks theme, guys? I think we should. So sadly, this bathroom is not getting a chandelier. We'll instead just add three little spotlights. We can have a full blown shower going on over here here. Why can a toilet not fit here? This makes no sense. How on earth is there not room? And our bath, again, has to be a bit far away from the wall, but it's fine. But we need to add some details, guys. Come on, we are not basic. And this little area here is calling out to me for some shelves. Oh, oh wait, we can't put them. You know what? We'll put some here above the shower. 
Oh my gosh, wait, we should put some toothpaste down here. I literally forget toothpaste in the game. And then obvi, we need some toothbrushes. And then finally, a little mat and stool down here. And there we go. That's quite a cute little bathroom. And now we have two rooms left. So the garage isn't going to take any time at all. You know what? Let's be generous. The start house, I think, should at least come with a default car. So I think you have to buy it in like a starter pack, which not going to lie, guys, I bought. <laughs> and now last but not least, we have the bedroom. So I know the start house has a closet, but... I feel like there's not really room in this bedroom. So what's a nice bed that's cheap? Honestly, this is a really nice looking bed and they do need a wardrobe. So maybe we could get them a fancy one. Now this bed is actually really cute, but because we don't have advanced placement, we obviously can't do much with the transform tool. And I want this back wall to be a feature wall. I love doing that with these squares. And I think we also should add a desk in here. And something else that Starter House needs is a phone. So I'm actually gonna add them because people need to be able to throw parties, guys. We could also add a plant behind the doorway and to add my own little mark on this house i'm gonna build a little tr there we go we have a little tr on the wall so everybody knows i built this house and there we go you guys that is the new and improved blocksburg starter house finished so as you first walk up you are greeted with these lovely gardens either side of you as you first walk in just like the normal one you can see pretty much all of the rooms first of all we have this entryway with a lovely toilet so your guests can go in here then if we continue from we have this lovely kitchen. It's actually very modern in here. You have your very own kitchen island. Over here, we have the family living room. So there's room for quite a few people to sit down. And just over here is a very simple little dining area. And then we have two more rooms. So the first one is the bathroom. And whoa, this green is very, very rich. But actually, I think this kind of looks the most realistic out of all the rooms. And then finally, we have the bedroom. Again, this looks so realistic to me. And this is probably my favorite room. But there we go. If you're wondering, my new start house came to <gasps> 95,000. Okay, you know, that's not too bad. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to hit subscribe if you did. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.